So, can you clarify? So, you said yep. Jesus sacrificed himself to forgive our sins. Yes. So, can you please clarify how did he die? Okay. Um, he died on the cross yeah. um, at the instigation of the Jews, but at the hands of the Romans. Essentially, the Jews essentially pressured they, the Romans to kill him. To kill him. Yeah, they manoeuvred um, them into doing it. My, my question would be, um, obviously, for me, when I see the word killing and sacrifice are two different terms. So, can, um, so I sacrifice someone, you know, like Abraham and uh, Ishmael. Uh, Ishmael, yeah. And okay. the, so that was a, a uh, I've been seen as a sacrifice. But someone being killed, killing is without the intention of dying. But like you don't want to die. You're, you're being forced to die. Okay. Yep. So in Jesus' case, um, was he sacrificing because he wanted to die for our sins, or was he killed without choice? Okay. He came to earth knowing that he was going to die. He knew that. And yet, it was the free decisions of wicked men that led him to his death. So, for example, say everybody, hello, Billy, say everybody had listened to Jesus and had been of goodwill and had accepted his teachings, he would not have died at the hands of those people. But the very people, many of them who listened to him, were of bad will. And so they instigated the Romans to put him to death. Now, he knew this would happen, Right. But that doesn't mean the men who did it weren't free to choose not to do it. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's and free will. I have another, que another question. Sorry. So Jesus knew that he was going to die. Yes. Did he know because um, he's got the uh, knowledge of God? Is that why he knew? Yes, that's true. That's true. He knew because, but that doesn't. But his knowledge was restricted in his incarnate state. Understood. But there were things that he knew and things that he didn't knew. And some of the things that he knew were that, okay. that he would be sacrificed. So 